Cancers affecting the kidneys are also known as renal tumours. Wilms tumour is a type of kidney cancer also known as nephroblastoma. It develops from nephroblasts, the immature cells from which the kidneys develop. These cells often don't mature normally. Instead, they remain present in a child's kidney after birth. Then they start to grow out of control, forming a jumbled mass of small, immature cells. Wilms tumours usually only affect one kidney, which is called unilateral, but in rare cases can affect both kidneys, and then it is called bilateral. The most common symptom of a renal tumour is a swelling in the abdomen, which is usually painless. Sometimes there may be blood in the child's urine, or their blood pressure may be raised, fever, upset stomach, weight loss, or a lack of appetite. A variety of tests and investigations will need to be carried out before a renal tumour is diagnosed. Urine and blood samples will be taken to check kidney function. An abdominal ultrasound scan and CT scans are often done. Scans of the chest and liver may be taken to check for any spread of the disease. A biopsy will be taken to provide further information about the tumour. Around 5% of Wilms tumours have unfavourable histology, characterised by anaplastic cells that are harder to eradicate. The stage of a cancer is a term used to describe its size and whether it has spread beyond its original site. Knowing the particular type and the stage of the cancer helps doctors to decide on the most appropriate treatment. A commonly used staging system for Wilms tumour is described below. Stage 1. The tumour is only affecting the kidney and has not begun to spread. It can be completely removed with surgery. Stage two, the tumor has begun to spread beyond the kidney to nearby structures, but it is still possible to remove it completely with surgery. Stage three, the tumor has spread beyond the kidney, either because it has burst before or during the operation, or because it has spread to the lymph glands, or because it has not been completely removed by surgery. Stage four, in stage four Wilms tumor, the tumor has spread, which is called metastasized to other parts of the body, such as the lungs or liver. And stage five, there are tumors in both kidneys, known as bilateral Wilms tumor. Treatment will depend on a number of facts, including the histology of the tumor. That means how the cells appear under the microscope, as well as the stage of the disease. If possible, the tumour will be removed by surgery, either at diagnosis or following a course of chemotherapy to shrink the tumour. Sometimes radiotherapy may also be used to shrink the tumour. Surgery usually involves removing the whole kidney, known as a nephrectomy, but occasionally only part of the kidney needs to be removed, a partial nephrectomy. Examination of the excised tumour will provide doctors with further information about the nature of the tumour and will determine what further treatment is required. Most tumours are standard risk. Some are low risk and require less additional treatment than the standard risk tumours. Two types of Wilms tumour, anaplastic and blastemal, are high risk and require more intensive treatment. Chemotherapy is usually given after the surgery to reduce the risk of the cancer returning. Depending on the stage of the tumor, radiotherapy may also be used. In children with bilateral disease, the aim of surgery is to remove as much of the cancer as possible while leaving as much healthy kidney as possible. Chemotherapy will always be given and sometimes radiotherapy will also be used. Treatment often causes side effects and these will be discussed with you before treatment starts. The possible side effects of chemotherapy may include the following. 
nausea and vomiting, hair loss, reduced resistance to infection, bruising and bleeding, tiredness and or diarrhea. These problems are all temporary and can be minimized with good supportive care. A small number of children may develop other side effects, sometimes many years later. These can include a reduction in normal bone growth, reduced fertility, a change in heart function, a small increase in the risk of developing a second cancer later in life. The child will have regular follow-ups to check for any recurrence of the cancer and for any problems that may arise as a result of the treatment they were given. When one kidney is removed, the other will be able to work normally and can take over the work of the other kidney. Very few children have long-term kidney problems. Survival rates are higher for children with unilateral Wilms tumour than for those with bilateral disease. Can it come back? If the tumour comes back after initial treatment, this is known as recurrent cancer or relapse. Most children with renal tumours are effectively treated. If the cancer comes back, it is usually within the first two years.